A couple weeks ago, I had rocketcontent.ai create 10 posts for us. I'm gonna show you how I set all that up and how that all works, and it's really, really painless and really easy. Two of these 10 posts are already ranking on Google according to my rank tracker software here. They're not in the first page yet, but I bet they will be over time. And these have only been posted for a few days, which is a pretty amazing result. So this is one of the posts that Rocket Content published on our website. And these are keyword based. They're not just random posts. They did keyword research for me. I reviewed the keywords. I chose the ones I wanted them to work on, and then they created the articles. They added this image here. Let's just scroll through this post. They added this image here. I didn't add any images. I haven't done anything to this post. This is what they've published, and this is what I'm showing you. This image here, and that's all for the images. Let's see how long this post is. It is 1130 words, pretty legitimate length. They have lots of H2s and H3s in here. I assume this is an H2. Let's just make sure. Yep, that's an H2, and then this one it's an H3, which then using the table of contents widget from Elementor, which I have right here, it puts the table of contents together based on H2s and H3s on the website. That's all automatic. Something I would have changed, I'll probably change when I edit this, is take out these colons. Not a big deal, but I don't think they're necessary. There's even internal links. This link goes to 7 Luxury RVs, which is a page that was existing on my website before I worked with rocketcontent.ai. So they're internal linking to posts that exist on the site, which is pretty awesome. Another link right here, budget-friendly RVs. That's another older post already on the site. Safety and comfort, RV safety. I think this might be one that they did. RV roofs construction. This is one of my older posts. So they've, they're have they linking out a lot and where it makes sense, and they're using varied anchor text, which is great for SEO. I do not think they're linking from older posts on the site to these newer posts though, which is something I'd have to go and do manually. But I have a plugin called Link Whisper, which is an awesome, awesome plugin. I have a complete video on how it works on this channel if you wanna see what it does. I'll link to that in the card up above and the description down below. It is an amazing plugin for internal linking on your site. I ran a link scan using Link Whisper. These are the results that we have here. So we have inbound internal links, which are links from other pages to this page and outbound internal links, which are links from this page to other ones on the site. Then we have outbound external links as well. So if you go through here, I'm gonna look for one of the new articles. Here's one right here. What is an RV? This is one that they wrote. I'll show you the list of what they wrote right here. So how long do RVs last? The best small RV for couples, top seven. Best RV for families of four, top seven. Class A versus Class C motorhomes. What is an RV? The best RV with two bedrooms. RV versus camper, how to keep motorhome batteries charged, how to winterize a motorhome. So, oh, even this one, what is a class A motorhome? So all the titles I read up to down to here, those are all posts that rocketcontent.ai created. So what is an RV is one of them. It has one inbound internal link, and that's coming from another one they wrote. It has four outbound internal links. This is links to other pages on the website, and those are all to older pages that already existed. What is a class A motorhome? This is one of the new ones as well. And this is interlinking or sends out six links, sorry, six inbound links to this page. And this is one they wrote right here that Rocket Content wrote. This is another one, another one. So these are all ones that Rocket Content wrote. So it looks like they're not linking back from my older articles to the new ones, but they are interlinking amongst all the articles they've created. And this one's linking out. To older ones. So they'll link out to older ones that exist on your site, but they'll internal link the, among the ones they create, not from your old articles to the new ones, which is something you should go back and do manually. And it's something that Link Whisper makes super, super easy. If you watched the video referenced earlier, I show you how that works and it's, it's amazing how fast it works. And so I'm super happy with the work they've done. This is the other article that's currently ranking. And same idea, they got the featured image up here, Another image, table of contents is auto-generated based on H2s and H3s, so they're putting those in nicely. Only thing I do is probably take out this colon and this colon. I don't think those are necessary. And internal links, let's see how many words this is. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, 
click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. It is 1,021 words. Little or few less than the other one, but still a great amount of words. And you can just pause this video and read through the text. It's very readable, it's very well done. You might want to edit some of it to put it in your voice, but you also might not, because a lot of websites have various writers and various voices, quote unquote voices or tones of writing on the website. So it might just fit right in with what you need or what you're creating. And so that's what I was delivered. And again, they did the keyword research, I approved the keywords, they then wrote all the content and published it all to the website, did all the internal linking, did all the images, totally hands off. It was a great experience having them do this work for me. Rocketcontent.ai is at that domain name. And you can read through this page to see how it works. Basically the way they do it is they use AI writing with human editors to make great content. For plans and pricing, I went with the 10,000 words, the test flight, 10 articles for $220. And here is all the stuff you get, which is basically what we just went over. To get started, all you do is go to buy now, fill out their short order form, order. And once you've done that, you fill out a form that gives them the information they need to get started. And that information is basically just your name, email address, website URL, the login details, if you want them to publish it. If you don't want them to publish directly to your site because you don't want to give out your username and password, you could make a temporary user for them or you could also just not put your login details in here and just have them send you the content either via Google Doc or some other way. You can choose what kind of articles you wanna do. There's a list of five or six. I chose list posts, how-to article, and let us decide, which is let Rocket Content decide. Is there anything else you wanna tell us? Not at the moment. I tried to keep it for the purposes of this video at a minimum for what I tell them so that they can basically guide the direction and I wanted to see how hands-off it could be and if we get results with that. And after just a few days, we already have articles ranking, so clearly there are results, and that's great. And here's our communication right here. So Sama reached out right away and said, or is basically confirming some of the order details. You can pause this video and read through these, but basically it's all the stuff I've just been telling you right now. And based on the information I gave them, they came up with a content plan. This content plan is the keywords that they researched I don't know which tool they use, but it's likely some kind of Google AdWords based or Ahrefs or some kind of tool that gives them search volume and keyword difficulty. And these are all the articles that we have on the site. As a matter of fact, they're all exactly this that you see here. They even updated this now with the published URL. Can't expand this, but here's the published URLs for all of them and Copyscape. So if I open this, we can see whether it's plagiarized. And I think because they're adding images of these to the deliverable, it's probably not gonna be plagiarized. If it was, they'd then go back and change it because it wouldn't look very good. So they put the article in here. We can't really see it's the whole thing, but I'm gonna assume it is. And it says no internet results, meaning not plagiarized. So you can go through all of these and look at those, but it's likely the same results for all of them. So that's a nice, nice touch having Copyscape go through that. Shows the date the posts were published, shows how much time was taken, who the writing was assigned to, and comments if necessary. This must be word count. They didn't update that for the others, but got some word count numbers for these three. And when I first went through this content plan, I just approved the keywords. They added all this information in afterwards, so it's in one central place. And then they have me install the SEO Yoast plugin. That's how they manage the SEO on your websites. So they specifically said SEO. So rank math is probably not the right plugin for that. And that's about it. Have the articles here and yeah, that's it. Super, super painless working with Rocket Content and a great experience because we're already ranking. Let's go back to our rank tracker here. We're already ranking two of the articles. This is the first ping we've had See right here, this is actually the first day where I actually check the ranking. So that's pretty awesome. And I anticipate a bunch of these other ones to rank. Not all of them will, even with your best intentions, with the easiest keywords, like these are all chosen because they're easy, but that doesn't mean they're gonna rank. I've written plenty of articles that I thought were awesome for easy to rank keywords, quote unquote, easy to rank keywords, and they just didn't rank. And that's not my fault. That's not Rocket Content's fault. It, it might be the keyword tool's fault because they thought that keyword was easy, but it wasn't. But I don't know. Either way, you can write content all you want and you're not gonna rank all of it. 
but you're gonna rank a lot of it if you do it right. And I think this Rocket content writing here is gonna be ranking. So if you wanna check out Rocket content, just go to rocketcontent.ai, choose one of these plans. The higher plan you go with, the more articles you get for less money per article. So this first one here is $22 per article, and this one here is $13 per article. Same quality, it's just you get a whole lot more. And the reason they can do so many in such a short amount of time is with the help of AI. And then they use human editors to tweak it and make it just right. And if you're afraid of using AI content, don't use AI Rocket. I've got another video for another company called Content Refined, which uses purely human writers. It is more expensive because there's no AI assist in the writing. And I'll link to that video in the description down below in the card up above if you wanna use purely human writers. But if you're okay with AI writers at a lower price and having humans edit it to make sure it works and it clears Copyscape, then I highly recommend you check out Rocket Content because I think you're gonna be impressed with their work. Next up, check out this video right here for Content Refined. That's the other service I mentioned throughout this video to help you get content created faster and more efficiently and scale your business. So make sure you check out that video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.